Merry Christmas. Yes, that's right, it's Christmas. I've got my posh uh, Christmas jumper on and everything today. Um, I'm gonna show you how to make a guaranteed juicy tender turkey. Are you ready? It's a good one. First thing we're gonna do is stuff underneath the skin. So in order to keep it all beautiful looking, so as when it hits the table, it looks fabulous, we want as much skin as possible all the way down. I think a lot of people worry about turkey in terms of how to cook it. Basically, it's an oversized chicken, right? So what we wanna do is trim up these wings. Just go straight through, and there you go. Now, the next thing with a bird is to remove the wishbone. It is absolutely critical, so it's easier for you to carve at the table. So just get your knife in and scrape along the side of the wishbone. Can you hear it? And then simply get your fingers in. Hey, we should get one of those like surgeon cameras so you can see inside the turkey. Yeah, get the GoPro in the turkey. In the turkey. Okay. No. Nobody wants no to see your right. Forget about it. It's fucking gross. Is it? Is this the neck or the ass of the turkey? The ass. It's the neck. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wishbone. Here it is. So now put your hand very gently between the breast and the skin and just separate the skin away from the breast. Now, if you've got massive hands, you can use a spatula like this to just run up. It's probably easier actually looking at it. Try and leave your turkey uncovered in a fridge for at least, at least 24 hours after you've stuffed it. One, it firms up the stuffing that we're putting inside, but secondly, it also dries the skin out and you'll get a beautiful, crispy, crackling kind of skin on top of your turkey, which, you know, let's face it, everybody wants that, right? Looks gross, doesn't it? Hello. <laughs> All right, let's do the stuffing. So we've got legs that we're gonna use as the main sort of meat of the stuffing. And just think of it as like a luxury sausage. That's what we're making, right? So all we gotta do is whip the bone out of the turkey leg. Into that, we're gonna add some onions and garlic. I've got some old bread, no crust. I've got some cranberries, cause Christmas. That's right, absolutely. And I've got some pistachio nuts, delicious and I've got some sage. With sausage, mate, be generous with your seasoning because that is actually gonna season the turkey as it actually cooks. Pepper. I'm using white pepper, cause white bird. All right, now we're gonna mince it. Yum, it smells like Christmas. Okay, back to the turkey. We're gonna stuff this beast. So grab yourself a little bit at a time and just get it in there. Feed it underneath the skin onto the breast. Your first handful needs to go all the way to the point of the bird. And what you're looking for is about two centimeters worth of stuffing, so it's quite a lot. And the reason this came about is I actually did a, a chicken for a Sunday lunch. And I thought, ah, oh, I wonder if I can use the leg meat to make a stuffing. And it worked beautifully with the chicken, right? So. When Christmas came along, I was remembering it and thinking, why don't I try it with a turkey? And it is brilliant. And that is a beautiful stuffed turkey, ready to go in the fridge to set. And I wanna show you one that has been in the fridge for almost two days and the difference between the skin on the dried one. Lozzie, would you mind getting the Turk Turk? Thank you, Lozzie. All right, have a look. This has been in the fridge for two days and have a look at the difference on the skin. This skin is like paper dry. And you know that when that hits in the oven and slow cooks, it's gonna dry even more in a fan forced oven. And then we jack the heat up super high at the very end once it's rested and that turns the turkey skin into crackling. Into a turkey carcass, I also wanna stuff a bit of lemon, some garlic and some herbs sage and rosemary, stick them straight inside, put the lemon in there, and then stick that on a rack in an oven, 120 degrees, ballpark, two hours. I'm gonna cook mine in a wood oven for two hours. Check that out. I'm gonna have the best turkey in the world. See you, turkey. See you in a couple of hours. All right, it's been two hours at 120 degrees, so this guy, oh yeah, it's ready, all right. Wow. And now all we gotta do is give it 20 minutes to half an hour just to rest. If you don't do this bit, you're in a lot of trouble, right? 
All right, while this is resting, I'm gonna crank my fire up, right? If you're cooking in the oven, crank that baby maximum temperature. Cranky, cranky fire, let's go. Time for a drink, surely. It's been 20 minutes, I've had a couple of bevies. So, a little bit of oil and a little bit of a massage. Oh yeah, looking good. So let's get it into the oven. Woo! Keep an eye on it. A red hot oven, right, with that turkey is gonna take about sort of four or five minutes. It depends what kind of oven you've got. Better watch how much I'm drinking, actually, I reckon. Look how quick that colors up. You see those crispy bubbles of skin? That's because it's been dried. I've taken it to the edge. Look at that. How does that look? I'll tell you how it looks. Bloody brilliant. So just whip it off of whew, the tray. Now, all we gotta do is plate it up Christmas lunch. Whew. All right, veggies. I have one Brussels sprout every Christmas to remind myself how much I fucking hate them. Here it is. Jock. It's fucking disgusting, man. I don't know how people eat that shit. I know you love it, and that's the only reason I cook it. If I was a bachelor, there'd be no Brussels sprouts anywhere near this. But anyway, there is. Maybe we should hide them at the bottom. So now you can see that you've created a beautiful bed for the star of the show, the turkey. You can be really nice to your guests and carve it, which I think is what you should do. So I'm gonna do that. Look at that. Come on, come on. It's real good. Let's go on the platter with our turkey breast. How sensational does that look? Now, you've got two choices with your gravy. You can either nap it across your turkey or you can serve it on the side. I'm gonna serve it on the side, cause wife. Sauce on the side, Jock, sauce on the side. Pop that next to your turkey, and there it is. It is my guaranteed juicy and tender turkey for Christmas or Thanksgiving, either way. This one is a keeper. Thanks for watching, and if you like that, please click subscribe because there's plenty more where that came from. Also, if there's a recipe that you actually want to see me make, chuck it in the comments below and we'll get around to it. Thanks for watching.